Welcome to another edition of Mass Snacks with Miss Glovely and Miss Wonderful. Today's episode is on adding and subtracting fractions. Hey, Miss Wonderful, let's do some th work with fractions today. Sounds good. How about if we start with some very basics about fractions? I like basics. Fractions are kind of confusing for me. Okay. Let's pretend that this is one whole thing, and it's kind of large. Yeah. But I, it could be a candy bar. It could be a candy bar, but it's a mighty big giant candy bar. Is it chocolate? Always. Okay. It always has to have chocolate. Chocolate candy. Okay. I like that. Well, let's pretend that we're going to split that candy bar. You want me to cut it in half? No. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you your half. Okay. And how do you suppose we could prove that that really is your half? Well, I can lay it on here and see, and it, it kind of looks like a half, but until I see the other half, I don't really know. You might be trying to cheat me out of a half. So would you So would you like my half to I prove it? I would like it? your half to prove it. Okay, there you go. You know, my mom used to always say when we had to divide something at home, uh -huh. whoever got to cut it in half, the other one got to choose which half they wanted. So I guess so you'd get to choose which one because I cut them uh -huh. in half. Okay. So how many halves did it take for us to have that whole candy bar? It took two, but I'm still checking to make sure they're even. Okay. Okay, they're still leaving. Okay. It took two of them to make that one candy bar. Okay. Well, let's say we have another friend join us, and now we want equal portions. And that's what's important about fractions. It's like you. You don't want to get gypped out of any of the candy bar. Let's say we have another no, friend wait. join us. How okay. many pieces is it going to take now to fill to, to make three. it? Three. We need three pieces. Right. So they would be the size of one, one third. third. I'm going to... Double check. Double it. check. Make sure that you know that we actually get a whole candy bar and they're all the same size. Okay, there so you there go. Are thirds. So three thirds make that whole candy bar. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how it works for all fractions. If they're cut into fourths, how many would it take to fill the candy bar? Four. Four. You know what I think is funny though. What? Because a fourth is smaller piece than the third. Yes, it is. But four is bigger than three. I think, right. I think so that's you, always kind of confusing. So I think you're right. And I think students get confused by that too because they think because that denominator is a larger numeral mm -hmm. than the third that it should be a larger piece. But they have to remember that it takes four of these to fill the same amount of space as three of these. I'm going to check you, Miss Glover. Okay. Just to make sure. She just never trusts me. Uh -huh. I just got to double check you. I don't uh, understand why you don't trust me. And a, because you're going to try to get more of that candy bar. I know it. <laughs> you might be right. And a fourth. You might be right. Okay. Okay. You try to trick me all the time. So. I, I, I have been known to in the past, but I'm not trying to trick you today. Okay. I think we've, I think we've kind of established that however, whatever number the denominator is, that's how many pieces are in the whole candy bar or the so whole whatever. So this would whatever. be five of these make equal one. And six of those equal one. And eight of these equal one, which, oh, she's going to check me on this last one. She's just not sure I'm still telling the truth. Well, you know, I know how you are. Yeah, I know you like to have your candy bar, too. But do and you, you know, you already tricked me on the money thing earlier, so. Do, but do you notice how the pieces are each getting a little bit smaller each time because it takes more of them to fill that same amount of space. Okay. So there there's are eight, eight of them. Okay, great. One eight, two eights, three eights, four eights, five eights, six eights, seven eights, eight eights. Make a hole. Make a hole. Eight over eight make one. Okay. Okay. So if we're going to do some addition and subtraction like you promised uh -huh. for this episode. Yeah, I did say we're going to add and subtract fractions. You so. did. Okay. Then what would the problem look like if I wanted you to add three eights and two eighths. What would it look like? Oh, that's easy. I'm going to write it down because you know me. I'm pretty much a visual person. Three eighths plus two eighths is, whoops. Can you show that one to me? One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, uh -huh. plus two more eighths. What do you have all together? And if I push them together, I have five eighths. Five eighths. My teacher taught me that it's joining sets together. Right. And okay. what, now, a common mistake would be for kids to add both the top, like you did. Mm -hmm. But sometimes kids want to add the 8 and the 8 together and get 16. But if That's you do... silly. They're 8. They didn't change. They didn't change. You're right. 
So you're, you are correct, 5 eighths. Okay. Want to try another one? Sure. What if I ask you to I'm add? I'm ready. Um, how about one sixth one and one sixth? Plus one sixth. I bet I can do it in my head. You think? I think. I'm going to answer it and then I'll check. Okay. Two sixths. Okay, let's see if you're right. Here's one sixth and one sixth more joined together makes two sixths. You're right. But look at what else we ask you to do. Can you leave those there? Mm -hmm. Is there a better way we can write that instead of two sixths or another way we could write it would be to find something it equals which is well it equals a third but how'd you know that how did I know that well I, I know to simplify here. my fractions by a common factor they both have a two in them. so if we divide both both of those by two I get one third and sounds I, like magic to me it sounds like magic. Well, I want to, instead of using two pieces, I want my whole thing. So two-sixths is the same as one-third. I see that two-sixths and one-third are the same. I'm trying to figure out how to put this on here so we see it clear. I see that two-sixths and one-third do equal each other. Still looks like magic to me on how you knew that, but you just might be really, really smart. <laughs> <laughs> you think? I think. Okay, okay. Ms. Glover. Okay, what happens now if we, would you rather keep adding or would you like to subtract? I want to try adding a harder one because these were way too easy problem. for me because I'm smart. Okay, what if I want you to add one half. One half. And one fourth. Okay, let me get it together here. Okay. Here's a half. Mm -hmm. I move the paper up here. A half and one fourth. Yeah, how much do you have? I know what you think I'm going to say. You think I'm going to say two sixths. Oh, I will. Because you said you'll add these and then you'll add these, and that's a common thing kids do. But I know you've already told me that's not right. <laughs> so I've got to think about this. A half plus a fourth. Do you know exactly how much of that hole you have right now? Well, I have less than a hole. You do have less than a hole, but do you but, know exactly how much? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if these fit. Okay. Because they look like they will. Okay. So if I put these on there. Oh, looky there. A half plus a fourth is equal to the same thing. Whoops, where was that half plus a fourth originally? Was equal to the same amount as one-fourth, oops, I'm off the screen, of one-fourth, two-fourths, plus three-fourths. So it would be three-fourths. So basically, you had to find a, a denominator that would work for both halves and fourths. Is that what that number down there is called? It's a denominator. A denominator. It's on the bottom. The bottom number is called the denominator. And what you just did with your fraction pieces was you found a common denominator. I just keep coming off the screen here. Denominator. How can I remember that's the bottom one? I don't know. Do you have a trick? It's down. It's down. It's the down one. So I found a common denominator between a half and a fourth. Right. Because I traded that half. You traded that half for two-fourths. I traded that half for two-fourths. I made this thing two-fourths. Uh-huh. And I kept that at one-fourth to make my three-fourths. You did. Okay. Let's try one more. One more? Yeah. Hmm. Make it hard. Make it hard. I think I can handle something hard now. Okay. How about if we do one-half? One-half. Check. And this time, one-third. Add one-third. One-half plus one-third. It's not... Two fifths. It is not. That's not good. Nope. Okay. It's not two fifths. Here's your one half piece, mm -hmm. and here's your one third piece. Okay. Well, if I use the same thing I tried before, I tried to turn these all into thirds so I could do this. But, but mm, that doesn't work because that, that third is bigger than what I have left over to put it onto. You're right. So what, I can't change it into thirds. What about some of the other pieces that we have? Is, is, are there any other pieces that we, we could make common? I'm going to try fifths okay. because 
this is a two and that's three and that's five, so I'm gonna try this. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, there's a little bit left in the middle, isn't there? Fifths don't work. Fifths I'm gonna try six. Work. Okay. Try a smaller one. Okay. I think that's one. I'm gonna kind of put it underneath it here so I can see that they line up. Okay. And then I can kind of see what I'm doing. The Ooh, six fit nicely on the half. That fits great on the half. Three six fits nice on the half. Mm -hmm. Let's see, maybe I'll get lucky. I think you got lucky. And two six fit nice on the third. So a half plus a third is one, two, three, four, five, six. It is. I'm gonna write that down. One half. One half plus one third equals five six. Can you show me what you changed the one half into like you did before? Mm-hmm. How many The six? one half was the three six. Right. So I made that into three six. And then the one third I changed into two six. So I added three six plus two six and got the five six. You're correct. Now, do you know how you got from one half to three six mathematically? No, but I do know this. I do know that two times three is six. You're right, and one times three is three. Ah, so this is times three. Mm -hmm. And then three times two is six, so one times Two is two. So whatever I do to the bottom denominator, yes, I have to do to the top number. What's the numerator. The numerator. I've got another idea for numerator. What's that? Numerator. I keep running out of room. The numerator is starts with an N like north. And on a map, north is always up. Okay. And so denominator and is down. down. Denominator stands for down, and so it's the bottom number. Okay. I like the way you think. Okay. A mnemonic device to help you remember. Okay. So, can we save the subtracting fractions for another math episode? I'm, I'm getting kind of tired. Okay. Okay. And, and guess what? what? It's going to be a lot the same. So, I think once you get really good at addition, I bet you will be able to do subtraction. I'm not going to do the subtracting part today. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Glovely. And thank you for joining us in another episode of Math Snacks featuring Miss Lovely and Miss Wonderful.